Hey everybody, it's me Shannon back here again with another book review and today I'm going to be doing a review, review of The Medusa Project, the setup by Sophie McKenzie which is the first book in the series and I think there is five main books but I think there's about six if you include um, the smaller little bonus book that she did for World Book Day in 2010 so yeah, so this book is a couple of years old, I think it came out in like 2009 it is a couple of years old and I read it, I started reading I think about a year ago or so. No, maybe about a year, maybe about two years. Yeah, nearly two years ago. And so, yeah, so I'm just going to give you my review by reading the blurb on the back. i read a couple of pages, give you my thoughts on the book and my star rating on it. So for those of you who are watching, um... Can you know, get an idea of the book, whether you think you'd like it, and then you can go and buy it or not. Um, I'm doing a review of this book, even though it's old, because there's no reviews for this book online. I think there's one for the first book, but the rest of the series, there are no reviews for them. Even though this book isn't massively big, I think it's only big in England, I thought for anybody who wants to know about the books, I would do the review. So yeah, so here we go. So I'm just going to start by reading the blurb. It says... Fourteen years ago, scientist William Fox implanted four babies with the Medusa gene, a gene for physic abilities. But Fox died and the babies were hidden away for years. Now they're teenagers and unaware that their physic powers are about to kick in. Cocky, charismatic Nico thinks his emerging telekinetic abilities will bring him money, power and the girl of his dreams. He's about to find out just how long he is. So, like I said, this is the first book in the series, and I would advise this book for, I think, people over the age of nine. I think, well, there's no one of these books, even though I'm 17, you may think you're a bit young for these, you're a bit old for these, sorry. Um, well, I did read them two years ago, so I was about 15, and I love them, and a new book's come out this year, so I thought I had to finish this series, which I'm on now. Um, I thought, you know, if whenever I read a series, I always have to finish it. I always want to finish the series, I hate leaving this series unfinished. So yes, yeah, so there was no blood and gore in this book, no swearing. There was some fighting, but it wasn't like gruesome fighting. So I would recommend this for people over the ages of nine. Um, I actually, surprisingly, really enjoyed the book. Um, I thought I wouldn't enjoy it, but I actually really did. I read the back and it sounded interesting to me. And for me personally, I only like to read books that... I'm interested in and that um it captures me and that I want to read on you know if I read the blurb of the book and it didn't interest me like I've gone to when I when I was at school we had a library and I look at some of the books in there and the text I think it wasn't young adult it's more adult and I just couldn't get into them not that I don't like adult books because I my mum did buy me a book from W. H. Smith which I will do a review on um she got me a book and it was in the adult section and I'm like, it's not, and I said to her, you know, this book isn't for me, I'm young adult, I like the fantasy sort of world. And she says, just give it a go, and I didn't, and I liked it. But a lot of books, like, from my school library, I didn't enjoy them, I read them. And I get, you know, half, a quarter of the way in and think, I have to leave it, it's boring me. So I like books that when I read them, I don't want to stop reading. They interest me, I want to read the next book and the next book. And so, yeah, and this is what this book did. I could not put it down. I just kept reading. I could read this in one sitting if I really wanted to. Because if you look, the text isn't massively big. But it isn't so small. It's just the right size. And it's you, you keep reading. You keep wanting to turn the page. You do not want to put the book down. Um, I want to say it's easy read, but... Well, it sort of is because it's not hard to understand and you could just flip through it like that. I didn't, when I was reading it, I didn't even know I was turning the page. If that, I think, if you get what I mean, like, I'd be there and I'd just read it and go, and read it and then flick. I'd read it and then what's the finish, flick like that. So I'd just be flicking like this as I'm reading. So I didn't even know, I was just so encapsulated and... So amazed by the book. And what I love about these books is that each book in a series is different. You know, I've read some series before where, um, 
And what I hate about them is that I've read the first book and the first book's been absolutely amazing. And I feel like the second and third book, because you never get them in two, so always in threes or more series. And the second and third book, I feel like it's drag, they've been dragging out the story. Like, I've read the first book, I thought that's absolutely amazing. And then when I get to the second book, I think you're just dragging out the story out of two more books, which you didn't need to. It's like, it's boring me. Whereas in this series, doesn't. Each book is different and it's absolutely, and they're just, you know, they're just, I think, so entertaining and that you don't get bored reading them. And I think people of a lot of ages can read, I think if you're over the age of nine, I think nine to 18 year olds, maybe my age, nine, nine to 17 year olds can read this book. But I do love Sophie McKenzie. So if you love Sophie McKenzie, you're like these and if you're 18 or whatever, you can still read this. But yeah, I wouldn't say adults to read this because obviously I think for adults the text is so easy for them and the story might not be as well as it's meant for younger, like young adults. I think if you're just getting into the young adult fiction, you're 13, you're just getting into that young adult section, these are great books to start off with. You know, if you're just getting into the young adult section, these are great books to start off with and yeah. So I'm just going to explain a bit what's about. I've given you my my opinion. I, I absolutely love it. So you can put your comments below what you thought of this book, whether you, you thought the same. Um, so basically what the book is about, it's about, like I said, I'm back, um, about four teenagers and they've got this physic, they've got physic powers. And um, what it is, is that there's this um, scientist called William Fox. And 14 years ago, there were four mothers who were pregnant and they wanted, they came to William Fox so he could implant their children with a Medusa gene, which what this gene does is that when these babies are born, they will have, you know, a physic power. Like if you've ever watched X-Men and you see them, they've got powers like one's got lasers shooting out of his eyes and one can do storms and that, that sort of thing. It's like that, they've, they haven't got the same powers as that. But it's like that, as in a sense, they've got these physic powers. And um, so the mothers are implanted. But what William Fox didn't realise is that when the mothers give birth to their children, the mothers die. Um, which William Fox didn't know about. He thought the mothers would be all right. But when the mothers give birth to the child, they're sacrificing themselves basically for their child. So the mothers die. And it's about 14 years later... And you, it starts off with the book Nico. So this book's about Nico. And then the three other books onwards, I think, are about the other three kids. So I think, like, the next book is about, I think, maybe the girl. Because there's two girls and two boys. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say their names or anything else. You have to find it out for yourself. But there's two girls and two boys. And um, she... So, like, the next, the second book might be about the girl... Then the third book, the boy. Then the fourth book, the girl again. And then the final book, I think it's about all four of them. You see it from, and what it is is that you've seen it from in this book from Nico's point of view. And the story does start off with him and how you find out where he's from and that business. But yeah, so the mothers die, and it's about these kids and how they learn to deal with their powers and how they meet. How this woman brings the four of them together to create the Medusa project. You know, they, they've been implanted with the Medusa gene, got physical powers, and it's about how this girl brings the four of them together to create the Medusa project, which are like working for the government, which help fight crime and etc. So I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want to give too much away. But what I will say is that, like I said before, the book is really good. It's a page turner. Literally, you can't stop reading and you could read this in one sitting if you want to. But I never did with these books. I sort of dragged it out a bit because I wanted to enjoy the story more and see the full potential of the book. But yeah, I did really enjoy the book. And so I know that you can get this um, in W. H. Smith, Waterstones, you've got on Amazon. Or if you go into Sophie McKenzie's website, that's sophiemckenzie, I think, dot com or dot uk. You can search in Google. On there you'll see a full range of books and um, you can see, if you click on this book, you can see where you could buy it from. She has a list down below. So yeah, so I would advise um, anybody really, I think over the age of nine, 
I think if you're just getting into a young adult section, these are great books to start off with. They're well written. And yeah, I did. I really, really enjoyed this book. And I think it's very enjoyable and that I think she's such an amazing writer that you will really enjoy it. So thank you for watching my review on The Magician Project is set up by Sophie McKenzie. So for the conclusion, my overall thoughts of this book is that it's really amazing, well written and that anybody over the age of 9 to 18 will enjoy this book. Or if you're older and you're a fan of Sophie McKenzie, you'll really enjoy this series. Each book is different. It's action packed, you know. You don't know what's going to happen next. There's loads of mystery in it. And I think you'll really enjoy it. I would give this book a 4.7. There are a couple of things, Romans, and it is a really quick read. And I would have liked to have been and could have enjoyed it more. Though that makes it great, you know. I keep turning the page. I finish it so quickly, which is a shame. But yeah, I'd give it a 4.7. I think it is a really amazing book. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this review. So please comment below on what you thought of the book. You know, if you've read the book and you're enjoying it or whether you want to read it. So yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions. So thank you for watching. Bye.